Hey guys, it's Hayden here making another video. Today I want to share with you guys my experience doing a tree meditation for a week. That was one of the first assignments that Iggy, my teacher, uh, my shaman teacher, taught me how to do, instructed me to do, so I wanted to share that with you guys today. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, shamanism is a lot about connecting with the world, connecting with other things um, outside of ourselves and understanding different perspectives, different um, ways of being, experiencing different states of being. And that gives us an understanding of how to navigate the world in different ways, how to um, understand how things are interconnected with each other, as well as connecting us to the rest of the universe um, on a greater scale. So that is sort of the basic practice of a lot of shamanistic um, practices. So the first training that Iggy had me do was to connect with uh, the trees. So basically I just journaled for seven days essentially. It was only a week, um, but I sat with the tree for those seven days and that was sort of my intro to understanding our connection to the natural world and our dependency on nature itself. So I kind of sat there and could kind of sense my thought process changing um, as I sat there in contemplation and in meditation and silence. Well, not so much silence. I had a lot of thoughts going on in my head. but. I noticed that my train of thought changed. It started to think about sort of how the tree works, like how the tree pulls nutrients from the ground, how the tree um, supports all other kinds of life. There was ants on the tree. Um, there were different kinds of, not mold, but um, moss and stuff like that on the tree. So it was like a place of its own a place where other life was growing as well. And it also supports a lot of other life, including us. I realized that we are dependent on the trees for survival and that we ourselves um, need the trees to survive. And to think that we are superior than the trees is kind of arrogant and also very ignorant because the trees are fine without us. They'd, they'd probably like to have us around. It'd be nice to have some diversity in the world, but without trees, without plants, we can't really survive. So that was one of the big realizations um, that I had during that week of contemplation with trees. Also understanding the, the damage and destruction that we are causing on our natural environment on which we're dependent on. Um, we forget that we are part of nature as well and that we are part of this ecosystem in the world um, and sort of connecting with a tree in that way made me think about and realize and understand that it's important to preserve nature. It's important to um, connect with nature and understand that we're not separate from it. And this is something that native cultures were quite good at understanding and had very uh, proficient knowledge of because they were dependent on their surroundings. We are also still dependent on nature, um, as I've been mentioning. Um, we're just disconnected from it because not everybody's a farmer, not everybody is um, you know, dependent on the seasons and the, um, the currents of nature to support us. Uh, we are protected by a lot of buffers and we live in houses that seem separate from nature, but they're really built out of things that are from um, nature. Most houses are made out of wood. The drywall comes from the ground. It's some kind of limestone. Um, and so we just live in these really fancy caves and we all, it's basically a dressed up cave that we've created. Um, but we're still in nature, believe it or not, you know, may not seem that way. And there's just sort of this disparity between reality and the actual like consequences of our actions I guess um, like the the impact that we're having on on the world there's not really a realization and understanding I think that if more people connected with nature is connected with trees I think um, 
people would realize that it is important to think about nature before you make decisions. So maybe don't have um, bags that aren't biodegradable, uh, don't make packaging that's not biodegradable or recyclable. These are things that we can do that can make a difference in the world. Um, but there's just a lack of effort or just a lack of um, understanding and respect for the natural world. And by connecting with the tree for seven days, it sort of opened that door more firmly for me. Um, the things that were previously intellectual of like, yeah, we should do this, we should do that, became more of a feeling of we need to do this. We need to protect the nature. We need to protect the the trees and the environment because we're dependent on it. We're part of it. And without it, we're, we're nothing. Um, and other species will die as well. And there's a lot of sacrifice going on right now where a lot of animals are, are dying or going extinct because of our ignorance, um, which really is a shame. And, um, you know, hopefully their loss will help us realize that we need to make a change in the long run and it'll save other species from going extinct as well. And extinction is part of, you know, is part of Earth. It's been happening for thousands of thousands and billions of years. Um, there's been bottlenecks of evolution and growth where there's been climate change and um, or change in environment where different species can't adapt accordingly and so they die out. Uh, but the difference here is, is we're responsible for it and we are causing a massive change in the um, ecological atmosphere of, um, of a lot of creatures. And so if we can make, make it so it's a little bit more sustainable as far as our usage of, of resources and um, a little bit less impactful as far as our uh, consumption and... Um, garbage and waste that we create then we that's something that we can if we can do it we should be doing it um, and it's important that we do because it's going to help not only us but it's going to help the ecosystem and we are part of that ecosystem so all that stuff will come back um, to benefit us in the end and honestly I, I don't know why anybody would want to live in a world where we don't have a lot of biodiversity and a lot of lush wildlife. Um, that's something we need to think about for the future. Everybody sort of, well, not everybody, but there's a lot of people, I guess our, our modern, modern culture believes most part that um, humans can live everywhere except for like wild preserves and stuff like that. I think the mindset should be different. I think that there should be designated areas where humans live and then everything else should be wild. Um, that's just my opinion. We're basically putting wildlife on reservations is just like we did with the Native Americans. It's another oppressed sort of um, people. I mean, they're not like humans, but it's still wildlife and um, wild spaces is another oppressed Thing. I mean, we're an invasive species, as I've mentioned before um, in other videos, and we don't seem to realize that when we when we have when we have invasive species in other circumstances, we usually control their population size, um, but we don't really acknowledge ourselves as an invasive species. We just take for granted our existence and assume that we deserve um, to expand as much as we want to, but. A lot of other animals don't really have a voice, so they can't say, hey, you know, we want our land and we want to remain free and have space for ourselves. So we have to self-moderate and realize that it's an important thing to preserve those spaces. And there are a, pe a lot of people doing a lot of good work for that. But our mentality needs to shift to um, stop focusing so much as so much on humans as being the most important animal or the most important creature in the world and viewing all animals and all wildlife and all resources as equals to us um, and resources honestly especially like things that we're dependent on as more important than us um, sustainability is basically realizing that we are dependent on something 
and um, without the without a balance in that system, without a balance in that process or the way we gather that resource, we and other animals will no longer be able to survive on that for much longer. So it's to make sure that we're doing things in a way that is sustainable and can support um, everyone in a positive way. So. I'm not advocating specifically for population control or anything like that, but I do think that um, we need to think about what our priorities are. Is our priority to expand and to have more and more and more humans, or is our priority to have a good quality of life for people? Is our priority to have a good uh, sustainable culture that can last long? for a long time and have a biodiverse um, world that all different kinds of animals can live in. And I think as the culture changes, as the demand changes, as people want more of that and people like start to know that the world is an important place and that um, the animals and the plants are important then that will naturally shift and that demand will start to change and change will happen organically instead of it being imposed by government sanctions and stuff like that, which will be part of it because that's part of of, um, cultural growth. Um, But it has to be something that people want. It can't just be something that is pushed, forced on people um, because then people will push back and it will um, not work. So... Hopefully some of what I said resonates with you guys, and if it doesn't, that's fine too. Just let me know. I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts, and um, I hope that maybe it's making you think about something in a different way. Maybe you've never thought about some of these things before. Um, That's some of the stuff that I've learned um, from connecting with the trees um, and then connecting with nature and sort of thinking about what we're doing to this world. So yeah, that's pretty much my experience with that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, make sure to seek your truth and to take time for yourself. And I will catch you in future videos. All right, bye for now, guys. Thanks for watching.